Dick with pride carries Penny right inside of the house. The house is one happy family. Look at that, Cooper. Beautiful, isn't it? It's lovely. <laughs> Tomorrow, by this time, you and that sensitometer will have made meteorological history. Well, it'll certainly be a new experience for me. Tomorrow, the eyes of every weather station in this country will be on you as you step out of that plane. With your parachute on, of course. <laughs> yeah. What's the matter? You're not afraid, are you? Well, no, not exactly. Uh... Well, you, you've had the best pre-jump training available. Theory, exercise, parachute packing, the works. And you came through with flying colors. But the highest I've jumped has been from the top of a ladder. <laughs> Maybe I ought to make a few practice jumps before I try to read the sensitometer on the way down. Uh, look, boy, your instructor will be with you. Now, take it from an old timer. Jumping from 7,000 feet is no tougher than jumping from 5,000. <laughs> I'll remember that. Cooper, the world is turned. Twenty years ago, when I came into the Weather Bureau, people laughed at us. They thought they could do a better job predicting weather with their corns. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see some of those wise guys today send their corns up into outer space. Well, what are you getting at? Cooper, come here. Uh, sit down. <clears throat> Boy, I want you to stick out your chest. I want you to be proud you're a weatherman. Oh, I am, sir. And when I step out of that plane, I'll tell all those butterflies in my stomach to stick out the chest, too. <laughs> uh, joke, if you will. But the results of this inversion experiment may find out things for us that will one day allow your children to walk in a smogless world. <laughs> it's certainly worth a try. Oh, uh, by the way, is your wife driving you to the airport in the morning? Well, I, uh... What's the matter? Well, I haven't told her anything about it yet. You haven't? Well, Penny's overly protective where I'm concerned. Uh, if she had her way, there'd be a lifeguard around every time I take a shower. <laughs> well, you'd better tell her. Oh, not that anything can go wrong. <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. Douglas. I'll make that jump in the morning. Sure, sure, sure. I'm certain you'll be all right. Oh, yes, sir. I'll, I'll, I'll be fine. Yeah, sure. Nothing, yeah. nothing to worry about. Uh, Cooper, if that chute doesn't open, you won't have time to write for help. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Guess who? Uh, a mother. known by your voice. Well, my voice always sounds higher when I tiptoe. <laughs> Darling, you didn't buy another radio, did you? Uh, well, it's not a radio, dear. It's a sensitometer. I'm going to test it tomorrow. It records smog conditions in the atmosphere, like uh, heat and light and ozone. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> what, what, what's cute? When you say ozone, your Adam's apple jumps up and down. <laughs> Pretty cute yourself. Uh, look, honey, there's uh, something I have to tell you. For the past six weeks, I've been training and practicing, and now I'm all ready to go in for skydiving. Oh, that's wonderful. Now I can bring home all those fresh lobsters. <laughs> no, honey, not, not skin diving. Well? What are you going to wear, then? I'm trying to tell you something, and you 
You're not making it easy. <laughs> now, darling, you know you can tell me anything you want to. Good. Tomorrow morning, I'm going up in a plane and I'm going to jump out in a parachute. <laughs> parachute? <laughs> in a parachute. Well, I... Oh. <laughs> here, here, honey. Get up in the chair. Oh, honey, for heaven's sake, can't you be more... <gasps> What's the matter with her? Oh, Mother, it's Dick. He's going to... He's got to... He's... Oh. Honey, What's the matter with her? Well, I just told her I'm going to make my first parachute jump in the morning. Well, I'll get her a glass of water. Oh, Dick, this is terrible. badly because you broke some dishes. They didn't belong to the good set anyway. Grandma, Dick's taking up skydiving. Oh, isn't that nice? <laughs> Do you want to go upstairs, dear? Lower the drawbridge. The king and the court jester have returned to the castle. <laughs> Hello, Fanny. Hi. What's the matter with the princess? I don't know, but the castle better stack up on paper plates. Now, lover, you quit bothering around and tell us what happened or I'll... I'll kiss you. <laughs> yeah, lover, come on. What's the trouble? Well, Dick's taking up skywriting. Skywriting? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, it was sky something. Uh, diving or jumping or... Di oh, that's right. It was skydiving. Skydiving? Yeah. Well, no wonder Penny was upset. Those guys jump out of planes. Oh, Charlie, hmm? before I forget, there's something we've got to do tomorrow. I thought we agreed not to talk about tomorrow. Well, there's something we have to do this week. Now, relax. <laughs> I'm not even going to mention that subject. All I want to talk about is duck hunting. Okay. <laughs> Now, before we go out in those cold marshes this weekend, I think we ought to hit that sale at the sports mart. Why? What do you need? A new jumper. <laughs> What's the matter? I didn't even mention the word parachute. <laughs> now, Penny, there's no need to be so worried. No need? With you floating miles up in the air on nothing but a, a piece of silk? What if you get a run in your parachute? <laughs> now, Penny, will you listen to me? Look, Dick, when you married Penny, the first rule I made was never to interfere in your lives. But this is different. I think you need the advice and counsel of someone older and wiser. Well, you are older. <laughs> and I'm wiser, too. That is, in some respects. Dick, I think you should have mentioned this to Penny weeks ago. After all, marriage is a partnership. And a partnership without a partner is nothing but a ship. <laughs> well, you're all forgetting one thing. Uh, skydiving is no longer considered dangerous. Well, neither is bullfighting, if you're sitting up in the stands. <laughs> no, no, it, I, that's right. Now, listen, statistics prove that skydiving is safer than keeping house. As a matter of fact, uh, there are hundreds of housewives who've taken it up. Well, if their homes aren't safe, that's understandable. Dick, as your mother-in-law, I think you should give this whole thing up. I agree. If we were meant to fly, we'd have wings. Now, wait a minute. What are you trying to make out of this boy, a parlor poodle? After all, he's a man in the prime of his life, filled with the spirit of adventure. I say let him jump. <laughs> That's your father. Gives away somebody else's neck. Like it was Christmas turkey. Charlie, I never saw it fail. Whenever we all agree on something, you have to take the other side. What do you mean? Now, look. A, a minute ago, you said that marriage was a partnership. Well, this one seems more like a corporation. <laughs> now, I appreciate how you all feel. You, you all love Penny, and uh, you don't want to see either of us unhappy. But testing this new instrument is important to my boss. 
and therefore it's important to me. Now, I don't want to seem stubborn about this, but I've decided to go through with it. And if you had any respect for me at all, you'd quit trying to talk me out of it and get behind me with a little encouragement. Bravo! I've got half a mind to go out there tomorrow and join him. <laughs> what for? He needs a parachute, not a windbag. <laughs> Well, that's the crossroads. We'll be approaching the target area pretty soon now. How do you feel? Uh, uh, fine, Perkins. Look, just remember my instructions and everything will be okay. You're not nervous, are you? Well, now that you mention it, I, I guess I am a little. <laughs> that's all, huh? Oh, uh, that's all. As long as you don't have those sweaty palms like I used to have. <laughs> <laughs> and the shaky knees like I had on my first jump. <laughs> well, there's the target. On your feet, Dick. Now you stand over here. I can't open the door till zero minus 30 seconds. Otherwise, the draft might drag you out of the airplane. <laughs> yeah, that's right, that's right. <laughs> Look, just relax, Dick. Everything is going to be okay. Yeah. The first jump is always a beautiful experience to look back on. I'll never forget mine. I was sure I was going to miss that catcus tree. <laughs> I would have, too. I had my course all doped out, but those Don Powell lines. <laughs> Boy, you hit one of those things and... <laughs> doing that for? <laughs> oh, I know it's silly, but the one time I didn't do it... What? 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 Nothing. 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 Come on, now get ready. Five, four, three, two, one, go! I said go! No, there's nothing out there! That's the idea! Jump! What am I going to run in my parachute? This. We'll find one who will, and I'll clean her house! Nick, you know what's wrong with you? What? You got jumper's block. A jumper's block, huh? There's only one way to fix it. What? Excuse me. What? Oh, no, don't push the There's another way to fix it, and tell me that's what you're going to do. No, I can't. I can't jump. What are you doing? Yeah, but don't worry, there was no one in it. That's right, the guy didn't jump. Now look what you did. He's crying. <laughs> my boy. Where have you been? I've been turning the whole state upside down looking for you. Well, I took my time driving back. Oh, and I'll bet you're bush, too. And hungry. Here. I had some sandwiches sent in. Oh, well, thanks, Mr. Douglas, but I'm not hungry. Oh, go on, have a sandwich. They're chicken. So am I. <laughs> no, 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 don't be modest. Now, tell me, how did it go? Well, if I tell you, you'll yell, you what? Just like you always do. Oh, now, 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 I, I've outgrown yelling you what? I discuss problems calmly and maturely and just like any civilized person would. <laughs> All right. I didn't jump. You what? <laughs> Want the sandwich back? Well, I don't understand. Oh, I know. <laughs> you're so glad to be back on terra firma that you're, you're having a little fun with the old man, huh? <laughs> Oh, no. I can't explain it, Mr. Douglas. I, I was fine and, and, uh, until I stood in the door of that plane, and then I froze. I, I couldn't move. Suddenly, it, it all flashed in front of me. What? The life I haven't lived yet. No, 
just a minute, Dick. No, sir. I, I took your six weeks of training and just threw it away. Oh, now, now, wait a minute. Don't say that. Tomorrow's another day. You can try again. Oh, no, sir. I'm through. I don't want to look at another parachute. You can fire me if you like. I don't even want to open an umbrella. <laughs> Mother, in honor of his first parachute jump, I made some chocolate drop cookies. <laughs> Dick's gonna think we're all kooks. This morning when he went to work, we didn't want him to jump. Now we're all for it. Well, I'm glad we could see it Dick's way. It'll show him he doesn't have old-fashioned in-laws who refuse to understand his point of view. Who are you kidding? He'd have jumped anyway. <laughs> Word from Lindbergh yet? <laughs> yeah, he sent you a radiogram. Yeah. Little message saying to leave his cookies alone. <laughs> what are you, a cookie watcher for the FBI? Dad, you look so scrubbed and clean. <laughs> well, Lovey talked me into taking one of her bubble baths. Well, how'd you like it? Felt like I was sitting in hot champagne. <laughs> By the way, Barney. Considering you own a plumbing supply company, those bathroom fixtures are a disgrace. Oh? Why don't you have a couple of your tile men come by and put in one of those new Roman-type sunken tubs? <laughs> well, I'm glad you call that to my attention, Nero. <laughs> you know, you're pretty critical of the guy that used to take his baths in an empty beer barrel. Barney, <laughs> really? Dick's home. Mm. I just saw him turn in the driveway. How do I look, Mother? Oh, just lovely, honey. Welcome home, my space man. Hi, you are. Hi. 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 See my dress? It's silk, just like your parachute. <laughs> this is for you. What is this? It's a complete skydiving outfit to you from all of us. <laughs> You'll love it. <laughs> oh, but you shouldn't have done this. <laughs> I know that you say that. <laughs> but I mean it. Well, we mean it, too. And we are sorry about the way we acted last night. It, it's just that we were worried because Penny was worried. Now that you've made your first jump, we want you to be the best skydiver in the air. Yes. You mean you don't want me to give it up? No. Give it up? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> What's the matter? Well, you see, what happened was oh, I was Oh, Mildred, and... uh, come and help me with the roast. It's stuck in the oven. Oh, okay, Mom. I'll help, too. I'll be back in a minute, honey. So, wait a minute. I wanted to tell you what oh, happened. Oh, tell them later. Tell them later. Hey, this calls for a celebration. Here, have a cigar. I don't mind if I do. <laughs> <laughs> Sunken tubs. <laughs> Dick, tell me. What's it like when you when you step out of a plane and start to fall head over heels into all that, that nothingness? <laughs> Barney, if you don't mind. What's the matter? Cigar bother you? I don't know. Um, Dick, did I ever tell you about the time that I flew with a Lafayette Escadrille? <laughs> oh, come on, Charlie. You're afraid to go up in a self-service elevator. <laughs> What I've been trying to tell you is, I, I went up today. Oh, say, I just got I a flash. I just got a flash. The next time you go up, how about painting Hogan Plumbing Supply across the top of your chute? That way we can kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> I'm a little tired. I think I'll go lie down. <laughs> Congratulations, darling, on your first... Where's Dick? I know, he, he wanted to lie down. Oh. Well, you see, there's a hero for you. Flings himself out of a plane at 7,000 feet with a little cigar smoke puts him under the weather. <laughs> well, come to think of it, I can't blame him much. These are pretty bad. <laughs> well, then buy your own. Well, they're not that bad. <laughs> Perkins, we've got to think of some way to make that Cooper boy jump. Why don't we just get a big slingshot and shoot him up in the air? <laughs> oh, I don't blame you for being sore, and I'm sorry I had to drag you down here at this time of the night, but this is an emergency. Look, Mr. Douglas, you want that smog meter tested, I'll make the jump with it. Yeah, that's very considerate of you, but where are you going to pick up six years of weatherman experience by tomorrow morning? Look, if it's such an emergency, you've got twice as much experience as Cooper. Why don't you make the jump? 
Me? <laughs> well, I, I, uh, if you, well, I, I have a stomach ailment. <laughs> no guts, huh? <laughs> The general doesn't go into the front lines. Some generals do. And some don't, and I'm a don't. You know something, Mr. Douglas? I'll bet if you just go up in the plane with Cooper, you could shame him into making the jump. What do you mean? Well, you put on a jumpsuit, parachutes and all, you go up in the plane with us, and then you give him a choice. Either he jumps, or you do. <laughs> Now, you've got the best available equipment, right? Right? You got complete self-confidence, right? Right? When it comes time to jump, what are you gonna do? Right? I mean jump? Right, right, right. That's the old fight, General. No, no, no. Turn around. Turn around. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, back, back. Now, now be calm. Keep calm. Please, you're shaking me so much I can't even tell if I'm nervous. One minute, get ready. <laughs> Oh, what's that? I feel like I swallowed a hot bowling ball. Dick, Dick, well, what are you doing? My palms, my knees. Get up, get up. Do something. It's up to you, General. Oh, yeah. All right, then. Give me that thing. Wait a minute. What, what are you doing? I'm going to make the test. You? Well, somebody has to. I have the technical know-how, haven't I? Pilot warning signal, 30 seconds. I've never jumped before. One of us has to go. Either you or me. Now make up your mind. I'm going to count to three. One, two, three, four. <laughs> The well-trained young man or the older man with a large family? Happy landing, Mr. Douglas. <laughs> okay. This is your last chance. Hey, Mr. Douglas, don't give me any of the deals even coming up. That's right, they both went. <laughs> yeah, the well-trained young man and the old man with the family. <laughs> yeah, I think they'll open. Oh, darling, I'm so glad your sensitometer test turned out successfully. Yeah, everything worked out fine. Once I got Mr. Douglas out of that cactus tree. <laughs> you must have felt like a bird soaring through the air. Bird? For a while there, I thought I was a dead duck. <laughs> You know, for the first few seconds, you get the, the strangest sensation going up and down your spine. Like when you watch me back the car out of the garage? <laughs> Not that strange. <laughs> I bet you get a medal and an invitation from the president. Oh, Penny, wait a minute. Will you ask Mrs. Kennedy how she keeps her hair looking so pretty? I can never get mine to puff out like hers. There he is. Well, how does it feel, boy, to be a hero? Oh, we're so proud of you. Oh, darling, can I go to Washington with you? Oh, no, just a minute. I haven't done anything that important. Oh, you're so modest. Modest my foot. L let me tell you something. Yesterday when the man said jump in that plane, the only thing that jumped was my stomach. <laughs> and the parachute. <laughs> And today, if Mr. Douglas hadn't fallen out of the plane, I'd still be standing there. Well, you jumped after him, and that certainly took courage. It was purely a reflex action. Well, you had the right reflex. After all, you, you can't enjoy the true feeling of courage until you've experienced fear. Ask any soldier. So stop berating yourself, because depending on the rest of us, you're the biggest hero that's ever happened to this family. And to prove it, Lovey and I want you to have this. No. Oh. They were having a clearance sale at the Army surplus store. Oh. <laughs> no. Oh. What's this? That's the real... Oh. Wow.
Happy family. This has been a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production.